okay, so some uh, child gets hurt wearing your baby wear that you just imported into Australia as the Australian lawyer and the local government going to sue a factory in Bangladesh? No, they're going to come after you as the importer of record. So it doesn't mean that because your supplier has global liability insurance that you're protected. Now as a small, if you're just getting started, you know, what do you have to lose? So do you spend a couple points on insurance or not? That's your decision. But after you're in stable business, you've got real assets that you want to protect, you know, keep in mind, you're the one that's going to be on the hook if your supplier makes a mistake in terms of um, product safety compliance. So we did a whole hour and a half on this subject last year, and if you type in my name and YouTube and regulatory compliance, you can find all those seminars. So I want to make sure we have enough time for Q&A, so I'm going to uh, jump to a couple things. I mentioned that there wouldn't be, I do any sales for my company, but I didn't, here's a shameless plug for the academy that I, that I work with. So if you want to learn more and about how to source from China, Neil and I have put together 30, I think we're up to 36 hours of online courses. So that's at China Sourcing Academy.